Have you heard about a squinting modifier? If not, let's begin a lesson and know what a squinting modifier does. I have got a dress here and this is a simple dress. Now I'm going to add a jacket to this dress. So what I've done here is I have modified the look of this dress. I've enhanced the look of this dress and made it more interesting. So I've modified it with a jacket. If the dress corresponds to the word and the jacket is the modifier which means the modifiers are words that give more information and make the other word look more interesting. It gives us more depth and understanding to a particular word. So now I'm going to read out a few sentences and I'm sure that you'll be able to spot the modifiers in those sentences. The gigantic whale was spotted in the ocean. So can you spot the modifier in this sentence? We have understood that the noun is whale and therefore the word that modifies the noun whale is gigantic and therefore gigantic is referred to as a modifier. In this case it acts as an adjective. They visited the world's largest zoo. So here again if you take a note the noun is zoo and the words that modify zoo is world's largest. Since we have got two words modifying the noun zoo, we can call it a phrase. She rarely wrote a letter. So over here, rarely is the adverb and wrote is the verb. So what you can say is that here rarely is the modifier. It is an adverb that modifies the word wrote, which is a verb. Pass me the dark green crayon. So here crayon is a noun and the words that modify are dark and green. These two words are adjectives and the, those two words modify the word crayon. That is the college which we talked about yesterday where I study. Here if you notice you find that there is a clause that modifies the word college. So therefore, you can sum up by saying that modifiers can be adjectives, adverbs, it can also be phrases or clauses. So they all come under the category of modifiers. You will understand what a squinting modifier is with these examples given here. Reading slowly makes me sleepy. So over here, what can you say about the squinting modifier? Slowly is the modifier. So now you can say that this modifier is squinting. It may appear to be modifying the word on the left as well as sometimes you can also confuse to have the modifier to be modifying the word on the right. So we need to modify the sentence such that the modifier either modifies the word towards the left or to the right. So let's see how you can change this sentence into a better one. Reading at a slow pace makes me sleepy. So now you don't have the confusion. Meditating often relaxes your mind. You can rewrite it as meditate often to relax your mind. Jumping continuously causes tiredness. Jumping continuously can cause tiredness. Now we have identified how we can rewrite the sentences that have got squinting modifiers. So next time you see a squinting modifier, make sure that you correct it using the methods that I have discussed. Thank you for watching.